I'm Jim Kelly. And I'm Tony. How's it going? And welcome to another episode of Jim and Tony Q&A, where you, the viewer, sends us your questions and we will attempt to answer them. Uh, there is a couple of media outlets in which you can do that. You can send us uh, a question via our Facebook page, Jim and Tony Entertainment. And uh, we also have an email, so if you want to shoot us the question directly via email, you can do that at jimandtonyemail at gmail.com. Nice. Let's get at this shit. Tony, do you prefer the thermomagnetohydrodynamic drive or maglev, which is short for magnetic levitation? Yeah, we totally didn't look up any of this ahead of time, especially because I didn't know what any of that meant. But after doing some research, Andrew, my answer is going to have to be that I prefer maglev. And the reason for that is because maglev is uh, where you use magnets to, pro to actually propel a, uh, a structure to move, in a sense, the monorail. If you've ever been on the monorail in Disney World, uh, where it takes you, you know, to all the different locations you have to be, that's probably the smoothest ride I've ever been on. And uh, because of that, I'm actually going to say maglev. So hope that answers your question. If not, Andrew, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. <laughs> all right? And if you don't mind, I would like to interject. This is where we differ because I am a fan of the thermomagnetohydrodynamic drive. And here's the only reason why. Let's break down that long ass word. <laughs> Thermo, which is short for thermos. <laughs> Keeps your coffee warm and I love to drink. Magneto, awesome X-Men character. Awesome. <laughs> Hyde. Mm hmm. I you do like that the eye pro? I do that on occasion. Yeah. And, uh, You're not very good at hiding because I scare the shit out of you more than anything. Man, am I good at the seek part. <laughs> <laughs> and then, row. I've been on boats before. And uh, dynamic, which would explain this duo. Jim. Mm. Also from Andrew. By the way, like half of these are from Andrew because he's just crazy. So, Jim, he wants to know what your favorite color is. Oh. Green. All right. Cool. Let's move on to the next one. <laughs> Tony. Yeah. Who is your favorite 18th century philosopher? Uh, 18th century philosopher. Um, I don't know too many. But uh, I'm going to go with Benjamin Franklin. Mm. Uh, Inventor of lightning. <laughs> uh, he actually discovered um, the, the, you know, how the current of electricity works. Plus, I mean, he's on the $100 bill. I mean, how much more G can he get than that? So I'm going to go with, you know, it's all about the Benjamin. So uh, Benjamin Franklin, I'm going to go with that. Anyway, uh, next question for Jim. Uh, Andrew would like to know your favorite drug. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Um... <clears throat> It's hard to pick a favorite. <laughs> Lately, I have been on a big salvia kick. For those of you who don't know what salvia is, it's you can go to your local smoke shop and purchase some over the counter. <laughs> and it really rings your bell. <laughs> rings for, your bell? <laughs> for, for a good minute, two minutes, you can't control any part of you. But I have to say, <laughs> if I had to pick a favorite drug, it's got to be ecstasy in the early part of the millennium. Man, you know, just dancing and fucking. One of the things I thought was funny about ecstasy is you'd get the pill and it would have like some weird symbol on it, like the Mitsubishi symbol. Mm -hmm. And there was a point where I actually was convinced that Mitsubishi actually manufactured ecstasy. But then I found out that was just BS. They manufacture cars. Cars, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I think with every purchase, you get some ecstasy in the glove compartment. That would be cool. Or they just make the wheels out of X. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> All right. That ends the questions for Andrew. It does. Um, and I did get another one via text a little while ago. This one is actually from uh, Valerie Morgan. She says, and I'll direct this first one to you, mm -hmm. if either one of you would be the Pope, what would you change about the church? So I'll leave that one to you. Let's sit on that for a second. You want me to start this off? I do. <sighs> okay. 
If I was the Pope, the first thing I would change would be the age limit for altar boys. Okay. Uh, I'd make it younger. Wow. I'd let All them... Right. All right. Young is I... young. <laughs> you know? Um... All right, I guess I'll answer the, that question as like well. A, like, um, a, like a ripe nectarine. <laughs> what would I change about the church? Um, I think I'd do away with the collection basket because, mm -hmm. man, I'm there to pray if I ever go. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to feel bad when I didn't bring ones. I mean, let's talk about this. We're in the 21st century. Who carries cash? I carry a card. Unless you walk by with some kind of a, you know, a, a device where I can slide my credit card. Through. Like, I think the church should, should start using the Square app. You know, like, come around and I'll just slide my credit card. Here's a dollar. Here's a tip, you know, for carrying around that basket with that little slider. And, and you know what? That, that, you know, embrace technology if you want to make some money. Mm -hmm. But other than that, get rid of the collection basket because it makes you feel like crap if you don't have cash. You know? And one more thing. The symbol of the cross. I know, I know, it's age old, it's a well-known symbol of the Catholic faith, but I say, you know, change it up a little bit. Why not a giant shaka bra? <laughs> you know, one of those? Yeah, man. Huh? Just, just wide enough to put Jesus's hands <laughs> on there? All right, we're going to move on to the next one. All right, this is the last question. Uh, if either of you could be a cartoon character, who would you be and what characteristics would you have? I can't think of a lot of them that come to mind, but I'm going to say right now, and this may change, might change, I'm going to say Pepe Le Pew, because Ooh, Pepe Le Pew, the skunk. He, yeah, the skunk. I mean, I don't smell. I mean, I actually smell pretty good naturally. Yeah, I know. But... He has an intensely high sex drive, and I think I'm the same, but also, even though he probably doesn't get a ton of skunk ass, right? Mm -hmm. he, he probably gets some. Um, I mean, he's getting some. Like, he knows he's confident with himself. He never goes up to another, you know, skunk or another person or, or of the female sex and says, hey... I don't know what to say. He's kind of like, let's get it on. And I think I'm right there with that. So, well, hey guys, thanks for joining us for this Q&A. We got a lot of new stuff coming uh, 2013. Yeah. <laughs> Have a great night. All right. Later.